This nigga Tory shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. I tried to keep the situation off the internet, but you dragging it. You really fucking dragging it. Motherfuckers talking about I hit this nigga. I never hit you. Motherfuckers was like, oh, she mad because he was trying to fuck with Kylie. No, I wasn't. Like, you dry shot me. Like, everybody in the car, it's only four motherfuckers in the car. Me, you, my homegirl, and your security. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This nigga in the back seat. I get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I'm walking away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. You shot me. I ain't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they saying that. When the when the police, because the people in the neighborhood, there's a witness. When the police came, because the, the neighbors called the police. This did not happen at Kylie house. This happened damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes away from my spot. The police come. I'm scared. All this shit going on with the police. The police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us all get out the motherfucking car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we niggas, us black people, got a gun in the car? You want me to tell the laws that, that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? Nigga, I'm scared. It's a fucking helicopter over us. It's some more shit. Why the fuck would I tell the laws somebody got a gun in this car and this nigga shot me? So I can get shot, you can get shot, she can get shot, he can get shot. I ain't tell the police what happened immediately.